Good afternoon, Nancy here in Lafayette, Indiana, reminding you to hit hearts and likes and make comments. And if you're on YouTube, to hit the subscribe and the thumbs up buttons. I'm going to be talking today about what you do after you have chosen the affiliate that you're going with. Or sometimes you pick more than one affiliate that you're working with. How do we get ourselves out there? How do we get people to our site? How do we get our first sell? That will encourage us to keep moving. What is it that we need to do next? One of the things that we need to do is perhaps for a fast start is to do solo ads. And in case you don't know what solo ads are, that is when we buy from the right vendor, such as Udemy or SoloX or private individuals that have contacted us, and we decide to purchase so many leads from their email list. And so what we do is we send our link to their email list, or they send our link to their email list, and in the hopes that we will build our own email list by them clicking on the leads. So it's really important that we choose the right vendors. The right vendors will have good leads, will be able to, mail, to grow our email list. And as we begin to grow our list, and as we begin to make those first sales, we'll want to rinse and repeat. And one of the things that you really want to do when you're doing these vendors for the, um, your, uh, when you're doing your marketing or you're picking your vendors to run into your email, you want to make sure that you're picking good solo ad vendors. So you'll want to track. Maybe you'll want to do a hundred, um, clicks with one person, then you'll pick a second person, maybe two or three clicks, and you won't want to spend a whole lot of money in the very beginning, because what you want to do is to track and see which leads are converting the best for your list. And so one of the things that you need is a lead magnet. And what a lead magnet is, is it's a squeeze page or a capture page. It means that that's where the lead magnet will be sent. And hopefully they will give you their email and that's how you begin to build your email list. Now sometimes once you're more advanced, in the beginning you may want to just use the affiliates offers that they have already set up. Their squeege page and then their sales page or their capture page, whatever. To where you get the email and then they go on to the sales page. But later on you'll want to have a squeeze page and then a bridge page with your own offer and then the affiliate offer. But in the beginning, it's easier to use the materials that your provider gives you, and that way you can begin to build your email list, and as you build your own list, you can control your list. You have an idea of what those people opted in on and what they're interested in, and they'll be able to help you. So you always need that lead capture page You'll need a bridge page and you, or a squeeze page and all of these things. And we want to know a vendor versus a supplier. A supplier is somebody who is usually supplying physical products. A vendor is someone who is sharing their email and you're buying leads from their email. And those leads can cost you different amounts, anywhere from $0.35 cents to a dollar or more apiece. So be very careful who you're picking as your vendor. Try to pick reliable vendors. Check with other people who have bought solo ads and see what they're, who they're picking. And usually you can get lists of vendors that are free. And so then it's up to you to check those lists out, to work with the vendors, to keep track of your data and the statistics to see which vendors are working best for you. But as we do this, we will learn and we will grow and the easiest way to get your very first sales is by running solo ads to a squeeze page or a capture page. And that will be captured the email 
and then they'll go to your author. I hope this is helpful to you, and I'm just reminding you again that God has given each of us unique gifts to inspire, inform, and delight. May God bless you, my friends, until we meet again. God bless you.